Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It is Thursday, April 13th, 2023. Here's what's happening today in America. A recession is coming. Biden's intel dropped on the street. Dianne Feinstein hanging on and two massive infernos. It's all coming up. And then Bill will be here with the message of the day. But first, the Federal Reserve is predicting that we will have a mild recession later this year. There are economists at the Fed who advise the policymakers before they decide what to do with interest rates. And they determined that a recession would start the second half of this year, so a couple months, and take two years to fully recover. So it'd be 2025. Now, these are the same people who said that spending more money during COVID than we spent on the 13 most expensive wars in American history adjusted for inflation combined would have no effect on inflation at all. So can you trust these people? In any way, speaking of not trusting the experts, Joe Biden is in Ireland and someone found a five page document regarding the security for Joe Biden's visit. They found the document on the street. Just some guy found it on the street outside of his house. It had security information on where police officers were deployed around the city and other security plans for Biden's visit. Just a five page document sitting on the street. California Senator Dianne Feinstein, she's 89. Of the 82 votes in the U.S. Senate this year, she has missed 60 of them. She was hospitalized recently with shingles, so she's just not at work. She's got two more years in her term. A California Democrat, a congressman, has called for her to resign. And now a few others are piling on. There used to be an art to going out on top and not hanging on too long and being pushed out in disgrace. You got to know when to fold them, Diane. She has asked Chuck Schumer to temporarily put someone in her Judiciary Committee seat because her absence has clogged up the nomination process. A great Feinstein moment just a couple weeks ago when she said she was not seeking re-election. She was asked about it and she said, well, I haven't made that decision. And then a staffer nudged her and said, oh, Diane, we already released the statement. And she turns around, she says, it is what it is. The time has come. (laughs) It's like, oh, you just lied three seconds ago. Two massive fires, one in Richmond, Indiana, at a recycling plant. Thousands of people have evacuated this massive, thick, black column of smoke. The state fire marshal said it is definitely toxic. He said there's a host of different chemicals that plastics give off when they're on fire, and it is concerning. And then he said it will burn for days. There was another explosion at a dairy farm in Texas. They think a vacuum that sucks manure got overheated and exploded. 18,000 cows were killed. There are plenty of puns to be made here. I will leave them for you. Bill O'Reilly with your message of the day. Next, holy cow would be the one I, I would go with. This is an important notice to all U.S. taxpayers. The IRS is giving away billions of dollars in tax savings through a federal program called the Fresh Start Initiative to aid delinquent taxpayers. This initiative was established for anyone facing financial hardship and unable to pay their back taxes. Qualifying and enrolling in this program will stop all collections, settle your delinquent tax problem, and even reduce what you owe by thousands of dollars. Call the hotline at People's Tax Relief to see if you qualify and get this free information by dialing 800-472-0319. If you have unfiled tax returns or cannot afford to pay your personal or business back taxes, you can now get the help you need. One simple phone call can resolve your tax problem and save you thousands of dollars. To see if you qualify and to get this important free information, call 800-472-0319. 800-472-0319. 800-472-0319. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Thursday, every poll says the same thing. Most likely voters are fed up with the poor job President Biden is doing. The surveys also indicate Donald Trump has a negative image as well due to personal style. Neither situation is likely to change before the primaries begin in early 2024. Mr. Biden is incompetent and Mr. Trump is polarizing in the extreme. So both political parties have a massive problem. There's no one visible enough to replace Biden, and few Democrats would challenge him anyway for fear of angering the left wing, which has Biden in its pocket. On the right, Trump remains the front runner over Governor DeSantis, and the MAGA voters are incredibly loyal. However, there are not enough of them to propel Donald Trump back into the White House, assuming he wins the primaries. 
taking emotional politics out of the picture, the smart play would be for the Democrats to have Joe Biden hang it up and usher in an open primary process where a number of candidates could be evaluated. The intelligent play for Trump and DeSantis would be to agree to run together, the governor taking the vice presidential slot by agreement with Trump. However, both of those situations would require egos to be put aside. Place your bets now. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Let's go to the mail. Brian, I do believe that President Biden will be the Democratic nominee. So far, he's been perfect for the far left. They're in control of the White House. He does what they tell him to do and never apologizes. It's true. The far left doesn't care if he's diminished or not because he is in their pocket. George Luna, Berkeley Heights, New Jersey. I totally disagree with you, Bill saying the expulsion in Tennessee was an overreaction, the reason we have nonstop attacks on our institutions, lack of consequences. All right, I respect your disagreement, but as I said yesterday, you get the same bang for the buck if you censure the three people who disrupted the Tennessee legislature rather than throwing them out. If you throw them out, it gives the other side, the radical left, a cannon to come back and shoot you. If you censure and say you do it again, then you're out, you hold the high moral ground. So that was my assessment. Um, Joyce, I thought the um, Saturday Night Live Trump impersonation was spot on. They weren't trying to disrespect. They were trying to be funny. Um, Some people objected to Jesus and Trump being mocked. You know, those people are always going to object. It was tremendous satire. Melissa P., Wichita Falls, Texas. I see Trump poll numbers all over the place. You featured some of them, Bill. Can you give me your opinion on polling at this time? Doesn't mean anything. I only use it to put stuff in context. It's important that Trump is pulled ahead of DeSantis because that, you know, that's an interesting thing. But right now, polling numbers, June, they'll start to matter. In a moment, something you might not know. If you own a vehicle with less than 200,000 miles and have an auto warranty about to expire or have no warranty at all, listen up. Car Shield has a low-cost month-to-month vehicle protection plan that's now available to the public. Save on out-of-pocket expenses on future auto repairs. So please call Car Shield now to find out how you can pay almost nothing for covered auto repairs. 800-925-7584. For a free quote, this protection plan is at an all-time low in price. Drivers who activate the vehicle protection today will also receive free roadside assistance, free towing and car rental options at no additional cost. So please call for your free quote, 800-925-7584, 800-925-7584. Hey, what do you have to lose? 800-925-7584. Now, the O'Reilly Update brings you something you might not know. Of all the water on planet Earth, less than 2% is safe to drink. Nowhere is the issue more dire than California. Since last year, half of the Golden State has been dealing with severe drought. Recently, a handful of storms has brought relief to the West Coast. Here is the story behind what meteorologists now call the water shortage of the century. Beginning in the spring of 2022, California's average rainfall suddenly dropped by 70%. Within months, most reservoirs were cut in half, some evaporated entirely. Environmentalists blame the extreme weather on climate change. Warmer temperatures mean less snow in the mountains, and that snowfall melts each spring, filling rivers, lakes, and reservoirs. But with less of it, dryness set in. 
Now, earlier this year, heavy winter storms brought some relief, as I mentioned. However, the onslaught of precipitation also flooded highways, broke levees, and knocked out power for tens of thousands of customers. Before that, Sacramento responded to the drought with very severe policies. Lawmakers imposed a 35% reduction of all water use. Folks banned from washing their cars and encouraged to reduce shower time to less than five minutes. In the future, one possible solution to California's shortage, which is also felt in other Western states, can be found in the Caribbean, turning seawater into fresh water. Countries like Aruba, the Dominican Republic, and the Bahamas use processing plants to strip salt from the ocean water. The result is a never-ending supply of drinkable H2O. And here's something else you might not know. The largest consumer of water in California is not people or farming, but landscaping. Half of all the water used at home is on outdoor plants, lawns, and gardens. A growing trend in the region is, quote, water-efficient landscaping. Folks are ditching grass and flowers for rocks, cactus, and concrete to reduce consumption of fresh water. Back after this. Ad paid for by the Sentinel Group. Attention veterans, active duty military, civilians, and contractors. If you were issued earplugs between 1999 and 2015 and were diagnosed with hearing loss or ringing in the ears, you may be entitled to compensation. The manufacturer of these military earplugs recently paid $9.1 million to resolve claims that their earplugs were defective, potentially exposing service members to damaging sound levels that could have resulted in hearing loss or tinnitus. If you or a loved one were issued earplugs and were diagnosed with tinnitus or hearing loss, don't wait. You fought for this country, and our attorneys want to fight for you. Call 800-687-1936 now for a free legal consultation and to see if you may be eligible to file a claim. Time restrictions may apply, and you pay nothing unless there's a recovery in your favor. So call 800-687-1936 now. Again, 800-687-1936. That's 800-687-1936. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.